The Gundam Factory Yokohama. It moves in Yokohama. We are on the website. I am showing you the website. <laughs> I really hope that wasn't too shrill. I'm sorry, excited noises. I'm so excited. Vault guys today we're gonna do a quick little video because I'm just super excited about the opening of the giant RX-78 in Yokohama because I, look look wait <laughs> look at it <laughs> look at it right there like are you freaking kidding me a lot of people are calling it a puppet which it kind of is a puppet but you know what if it's a puppet that means someone gets to be a Gundam pilot uh so who's gonna be the next Amaro I'm gonna put my name first on that list there but anyways, there's something really cool. It's going to be opening December 19th, as we will see here on the website. They are giving a special kit out for it though. Um, it looks like a non-grade RX-78 that literally just looks like a replica of this mech, which I mean, it's probably not gonna be the best model, but if I were able to go, I would want it. I would buy one not to like open and then like another one to like build actually no who am i kidding if i could i would go away <laughs> with as many as i could and then give you guys one of them but uh, anyways i digress i digress i'm so excited i'm trying not to do like high-pitched squeals i will cry i will tell you right now i will cry the day that i see this i have not gotten to go to japan once in my life it was supposed to be this year and as all of us know <laughs> no one's year is going as planned like uh, uh, i hate it so much but whatever we are going to go through this website i will leave the link in the description so you guys can check it out yourself i just want to talk about giant space mechs everyone keeps calling this a Transformer or a Jaeger, which I think is Pacific Rim. I don't know, I didn't watch that movie. It's an Ava. Is it an Ava? No, 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 it's not an Ava. <laughs> Let me show you this kit really quick here. Ooh, maybe I should move myself out of the way. That would help tremendously, wouldn't it? Whoa! I will give you the link to this so that you can check it out. Look, it tells you exactly. So December 19th to March 31st, it may be closed for maintenance on some days. It'll be posted on the official website, official app as soon as it, official app, I'm gonna get the app. I'm gonna try to get the app. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about right here. Let's talk about this. So commemorating the opening of the bonus for visitors to Gundam Factory Yokohama, we will present a Gunpla 1200 RX-78 F00 Gundam to visitors. The bonus present will end as soon as the stock runs out. Oh my gosh, you can bet those are gonna run out so stupid fast. It's not even funny. So none of us are gonna get it. So if any of you scalpers happen to get it, call me, <laughs> call me. Actually, matter of fact, I think a bunch of people actually already have access to this. I wanna say I saw somebody in Hong Kong who already has this kit and has a review somewhere on YouTube. If I can find that, I will, I will link you guys to it because I definitely saw this thing already. But look at it, you see what I mean? Like we're not getting too good a picture. I'm gonna see yeah i can't i can't click on it it's it just whatever it looks like a non-grade kit it doesn't look like anything crazy but i just think that it's cool that it's unique to it which is exactly how bandai gets this every single time but the bonus present will end as soon as the stock runs out the bonus present is only available to ticket purchasers please note that children under six years old who enter free are excluded could you imagine that i would just bring like a whole entire schoolyard of children and then we'd get like a whole bunch of kits you know what though? That's kind of sad because school grade children or under six, like could you imagine that'd be like a super sweet present to have like your first gun plot. Although I guess the parents could buy it and then they could build it later. Anyways, I'm rambling. I'm sorry, I'm so excited. Uh, one present will be given to each ticket holding visitor only once when he or she enters. The present is not planned to be sold in the future, but may be distributed at other events and projects. So I guess that answers our question. Please note, we do not exchange the present due to scratches, except etc. nor will we replace one if it is lost. The presents will be given only to those, I love how they're calling it a present. That's probably a translation issue, but it could be the present. The present will be given only to those who have entered the venue under any circumstances. It will not be given if no one, it will not be given if one does not enter the venue. Why did I have such a hard time reading that? Holy crap, I am tired. Five days of uploads in a row, do it to you. I need a nap. 
The president's, the president, the present, <laughs> the present specifications are subject to change without notice. So anyways, that was the biggest thing I wanted to talk about. I'm gonna input some footage of the actual RX-78 moving, which is already cool enough, but I just thought it was really cool to point this out. So like, I don't know, again, like I'm just over here in the West and I, I not in tune with this, but I swear I saw somebody actually building it and reviewing it. Maybe I just, maybe it was a fever dream. I don't know. But if you guys know anything about this, like let me know because I kind of really want it. Not kind of, I do want it. I don't need another RX-78. I don't need another Gundam, honestly, at this point. No more Gunpla. That's a lie. I always need Gunpla, but come on, come on. Ugh. All right, so check it out here. I think this is really cool because they are showing us what the inside is gonna inside's gonna be. So like the Gundam dock, ooh, the Academy, the Gundam base, of course. <sighs> I feel like we are so overdue for a Gundam base here in America. Like, I feel like, you know what though, if it were gonna happen, it would be California or New York City, but I feel like it would definitely be California over anything. But uh, I want a Gundam base so bad. I, I think we've, we've talked about this before. No, I talked about this on stream and you guys were talking about what kind of Gundam we would get here in America. <laughs> I don't know, anyways, uh, I have gotta fix this lighting. Oh my gosh, look. Oh. Maybe if I sit back here, it'll be better. <laughs> the world of Gundam spreads out of the entrance. Look at this, like, come on. Uh, I don't know if they'll have a virtual tour, but here's the dock. Like I said, I just think it's crazy. So the viewing tickets, everything like that. Ah, the lab uh, within the complex. In addition to an exhibition facility where you will learn while enjoying the mechanism of moving Gundam, there's a shop with exclusive products that can only be purchased here, a cafe where you can enjoy a menu unique to Yokohama, and a communication space where you can enjoy regular events. I'm telling you, it just, it just sucks. It sucks. It sucks. I wanted to go so bad. When I go, like, I'm gonna stay for like a month just so I can experience all this and just visit this every single day. So here we go, you have the access, the dock tells you how to get there if you're in Japan, kind of irrelevant to us right now, but yeah. So like, that's it, here's all the protocols. I am going to leave this in the description so you guys can check it out, but I don't know. I mean, come on, maybe we can, can we actually, let's check out what the Gundam lab is. <sighs> That, this is so cool. The Gundam lab part's pretty cool. I know it's just a more exclusive thing and I'm sure some people find it kitschy, whatever. I don't, I would live here. I would probably wanna work here, honestly. <laughs> but I just love the graphics on the side. It kind of looks like white base, which is really cool. And just, uh, I really hope they're gonna give us a 3D walkthrough of this so that I can like actually walk through it. But okay, so the Gundam base, uh, product details. So that's the Yokohama Satellite Gundam Cafe. I also found out that Hanada Airport is also getting a Gundam Cafe too. Um, somebody told me that's more like local domestic flights and everything like that. So I must've been mistaken, but there is going to be a Gundam Cafe inside of the Hanada Airport. I don't know, I just think it's cool. I'll let you guys check it out all yourself. I just wanted to talk about it today because it was just something that was fun. I'm really, really interested in that non-grade RX-78 for sure. Oh, look at the horror balls. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. I think it's this right here that I'm really interested in. All right, this would be the kit that would be cool to get. So I would like to get the special edition one, but it is nice to know that if we want to, we'll be able to get this. I think that's cool, but I also feel like it'd be one of those things that I would really want to get there. Like those things that you 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 get and you're excited, like if you go to like some sort of amusement park or something and you want to get something while you're there and then have that tangible attachment to it. No, I just think it's cool. It's really awesome. We don't need another RX-78, but this one's cool. The display, the bigness, the chonkiness. I am there for it. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Are there any kits that you would want to check out? What do you guys think about this big giant RX-78? <gasps> I really want to sit inside the cockpit. I'm not sure that you absolutely can, but if you could, first thing I'm doing as soon as I touch ground in Japan. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching today. I know today was a little bit more laid back of a video, but I don't know. I just thought it was some good news and it makes me eternally happy to see. And I wanna know what you guys think. And yeah, what do you think about this transformer? 
Optimus Prime is looking really nice, right? All right, thank you guys so, so, so much. I gotta think, this has been Mobile Suit Miss day five. Oh, day five, day five, day five, day five, day five.